Hey, so family, it's me again, Divine Truth Oracle. Say, man, hey, man, I don't know what y'all are doing, but y'all got somebody in their feelings. Y'all got somebody feeling some type of way. This person feels like you're trying to leave them behind. This person feels like you've forgotten the love and the connection that y'all have shared. And this person is trying to tell you right now at this time, they're not trying to hear that. They're not trying to have that. All of this they're saying about you going into a new paradigm, uh, got new love coming in. They're like over my dead body. This person is saying that they've got unfinished business with you and you might move on to somebody else, but that road to you moving on to somebody else, this person is saying to themselves, whether it's in their mind and I think it is and whether it's true or whether it's delusional, they're not only manifesting you back, they're conjuring you back. They're summoning you back. And this person is not giving up without a fight. And that's the truth. Um, this is somebody that I feel that you were in pretty long-term connection with. Um, I see this person having a lot of regrets for the things that they did for the things that they said. They took you for granted. They really did. But in spite of and just because of how they feel, they're like, they're not giving up without a fight. Um, they're willing to fight you. They're willing to fight anybody that wants to come into your life. But Spirit is saying, if they come, they better come correct. Because if they let this new love get to you, I'm seeing that the person that's headed towards you, and for many of you, if you haven't already met this person, there is somebody headed towards you. They may be the same sign as your old person. So, in essence, they have the same type of perseverance, the same type of energy when it comes to what they want, when they want what they want. They don't take no for an answer. They don't step down for anybody. So this is going to be a real life if you don't get your ish together, because I'm hearing this is going to hinge on your decision. Baby, you're about to have a real live, real life clash of the Titans before your very eyes. Because the energy that's coming in is that the old person has made up in their mind they're not going down or giving up without a fight. And the new person, Spirit is saying, <laughs> they feel the same way. They with the ish. If your old person bring it, they're going to meet them where they stand. They ain't playing no games. Because if you say you want them and you want to be with them, then they like Nelly, baby. They don't care what go down. They coming through and they going to shit it all down. Do you hear me? So we're going to see what the T say. Uh, I hope y'all got it together because it's a lot of testosterone in this reading, baby. Yeah. This old person is saying that If they got to use force, they're going to get what they want. And they're saying that you know when it comes down to you, right, wrong, in between, they might have effed up, but they ain't playing no games. 
uh, the person that you had in your life may be known as being a bad girl or a bad guy. They might have a bad reputation. They might be, uh, I'm hearing, uh, thug, got thug energy. Yeah, you made a drastic change on this person and how they're used to getting down with you is not how you get down anymore. And the light that you're bringing right now, it irritates their demons because um, I'm hearing that y'all got down for y'all crown. This person may need your help right now. They may need money from you. Or you might have been used to this person giving you money and then at the end of your um, connection, your relationship, they begin to breadcrumb you for whatever connection it was they were going into. And um, this person is now realizing that they made a mistake. They're reflecting on the connection that you guys had and they're in their head about you. Um, they're thinking about you. They're stressed out. They're um, analyzing or overanalyzing um, what's going on, but they're not willing to give up this connection without a fight. Um, yeah, this person that you have dealt with, they're 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 known when they want something. They can be a very obsessive lover. Uh, this person has some karmic ways, uh, dangerous toxic and right now unhealthy because when they don't get what it is that they want, when they want something and they feel like somebody is intruding on their turf, then um, they they become very possessive. Um, I'm hearing that this person is not ooh, afraid to fight for what it is that they want right now they're holding a grudge against you because they feel like this is something that you're doing to them on pur purpose but they're getting ready to come in and try to um place the fear of god with you with scarcity tactics that you know how either you're gonna um get this right between y'all or that they're gonna move on but spirit wants me to tell you they lying they ain't going nowhere they don't care what's going on. They feel like they've got to do whatever it is it takes to get you back. And if that means taking somebody out, y'all need to be careful because they're not they're not beyond doing that. And that's the truth. You're unbothered by all this right now. You've been with this person long enough to know that you're used to controlling the situation, but Spirit is wanting you to know right now that this person is not in a very stable mindset. This person right now is very confused. They got a lot of delusions going on. They may be overindulging. Yeah, this person knows that they did you wrong and they're receiving bad karma for it. But they're trying to come in to you. They want to come in and make up for what they did because they know they effed up. Um... They're trying to find out what you're doing, they're trying to get evidence and proof to see if you got somebody else already or something coming in because you might have talked to this person already and you might have talked to them and told them that you don't. They don't believe you, but they definitely do want you back. And um, they're haunted by the memories of you guys and your relationship. You've been rejecting this person. Um, they're thinking that you're trying to hide something from them. So they are definitely watching you on your social media platforms from fake accounts so that you won't realize that they're there. They think you're going to let your guard down. You're going to relax and you're going to show your hand of what you're doing. A lot of you ain't doing nothing, but they don't believe that they're hooked on your energy. They need your energy. Um, they can't do without it. Um, you give this purpose in life with your energy and before they let somebody else have that say they're willing to do whatever i think i'm going to do a part two i'll catch you guys on that one i love you